right, we've got another, another excellent favorite question here. Um, this is a word problem for solving system of equations here. Here's the, here's the thing. Here's your boat. You're flying on a boat. Your boat travels upstream 60 kilometers an hour. Your boat travels downstream 60 kilometers an hour. How fast does it cruise in still water? Okay. Still water would be, I would say, probably the middle ground between going against the current and going with the current. It would be okay, still water, as if there's no current. Okay, let's call, let's call, we have to have a standard, okay? Uh, let's think about this way. We have three cases of water. We have um, against current, we have still, and then we have with current, okay? So clearly you go faster, slower, and then whatever, you'd have something, right? If we call this x, our speed of x, okay? If we're going with current, our speed would really be like this, x plus something. If we're going against current, our speed would really be x minus something, okay? So what? Let's see. Okay, what have we dealt with here? Um, we just dealt with the idea of, of having three cases of water, okay? What we want to realize is that if we are going with the current, it's given to us downstream. I'm going to assume that's the same as downstream. That's 65 kilometers per hour. I'm just omitting the units for now to make this part a little more easy. Uh, upstream it equals 60. Okay. Um, Ta-da! Guess what we have? We have a couple of equations. Looks pretty easy to me now. All we got to do is solve for these guys. So here we have um, x plus y is 65. x minus y is 60. So we can do substitution or elimination. I'm going to do elimination because I like being the eliminator. Mwahaha. Okay. So I'm going to subtract. No, no, I'll do it. Uh, I'll combine them. Uh, I'll just get the y's to cancel out completely. So I'll just I'll add them together. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to get 2x. The y's are gone, so I'm not going to write it because I'm smart and lazy. Equals uh, 125. Well, easy. Divide by 2, divide by 2. X equals 62.5. This isn't good enough, actually. What are our terms? We're talking about kilometers per hour. This is really kilometers per hour, okay? So, what does that tell us? In our state of being just still, our speed. 62.5 kilometers per hour. These really should have it on here, kilometers per hour. Kilometers per hour. See, I thought I, I thought I was saving time by skipping a step, but I realized I'm gonna have to do it anyway, so I should have done it right from the beginning. Lesson, lesson learned. Okay, so uh, 62.5. We've answered our question, but not yet. Here's our question, or here's how we have to frame our answer. We have to frame it in terms of the question. Well, we're talking about cruising in still water, so we have to answer about cruising in still water. The boat cruises in still water at 62.5 kilometers per hour. Okay? Do you see how this answer is framed the same style of words as the question? If I would have just said, um, how fast does the boat cruise in still water? Now, if I would have just wrote this on my math page or or wrote this on a test with no work, it doesn't do any good because you haven't told average Joe on the street what the heck this number means. Okay? Now, here you have explained it to everybody and their dog, they should be able to understand what you're actually trying to say. Coolio!